Welcome to this Scandinavian 9 to 5 flight. My name is Björn Lundström. This is my co pilot, Marius von Hanno. And we are going to fly the Airbus 340 to Washington. It's a beautiful machine. It has a Star, li Star Alliance uh, livery. And uh, it is a machine which can do the heavy work for SES. It flies 14 hours with a huge load. So this is going to be a very great flight. Weather is nice and we have already received uh, all the flight information on our iPads and we have in fact already gone through it on the way to the airport. But to have you on board this flight, I'd like to give you short some details. You have now, a look at the flight plan? Yeah, we have looked at the flight plan. Okay. And to summarize, have you found any problems with the flight or any special details? No, I have not found anything special. It looks, uh, as you mentioned, the weather looks great and uh, all the weights are well uh, within the tolerances, so uh, I see no problems here. I also checked the no temps, I found nothing special there. No, I didn't find it either. Weight is no problem, flying time 8 hours 15 minutes and uh, reasonable remaining fuel and we are flying with a very economical speed with a maximum uh, efficiency on this flight so looks really good we can have a look at the uh, i did also uh, check the uh, significant weather charts. yeah there's yes. a better one. great yeah. this is here at 12 hour sulu which is uh, just about uh, yeah. and this is for more or less for our arrival time uh, so we might encounter some of this jet stream over there uh, just after hitting Greenland, but apart from that it looks very nice and just uh, maybe a light, light turbulence, otherwise it looks very nice. Yeah, see and, no problem. Uh, we're heading north of all the uh, organized tracks, so uh, that should mean no delay or no speed restrictions as well. So. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, we have an advantage here at SES because we usually go north of all the the the, the big traffic and the we traffic are, here we have, the, uh, yeah these are all the organized tracks which have yeah. a lot of traffic in them and we usually fly north so we're heading just uh, the southern tip of iceland and then uh, the southern tip of greenland in our canada and into uh, washington dc yeah looks fine and we have ordered the fuel with uh, no extra today also for uh, maximum economy that is due to that we don't really see any problems on this flight so let's go to have a briefing with the cabin crew and building it build a team together with them so then <laughs> so hello okay let's see here hi sam bjorn hi hi sam bjorn hi sam hi hello hi sam bjorn Hello, hi Zambia. Hi Zambia. Hi. Flying time is uh, 8 hours 15 minutes. The plane is full and we're happy for that, of course. Uh, here's a short of the weather, which means that uh, no problems with turbulence or nothing. It's beautiful weather and we, it will be very nice weather over Iceland, Greenland and also when we arrive in Washington. So easy flight. And um, we follow the uh, normal procedures, of course. It's highly appreciated if we make an on-time departure because then we can save fuel if we can keep our very economical speed. Remember that you have the most important work. You, have, you see the passengers for almost nine hours on this flight. So what you do is very, very important. And you do as you usually do. We have very high customer satisfaction and we are going to get it even better. So, do you have any questions for the flight? Not yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was all. Then we go out together and uh, do the flight. Yeah. Time, 8 yeah. hours 14. 8 hours 14, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 40. Yeah. See, I said 50. Yeah. 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 That's great. Nice. Yeah. We'll slow down. <laughs> we'll slow down. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So. We'll yeah. just do our briefing as well and then we'll wait downstairs. Yeah, we we'll see you downstairs. So we we'll go out together. Great. Okay. Excellent. See you out yeah. there. See you. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Airbus 340 is doing the heavy work. We also have four Airbus 330s. And this is what is going to happen in the near future. We have just launched the 
program for new interior and it will be a major upgrade. So the seven of our existing planes are getting a new life on the inside. We are making them look like brand new A330Es and 350s. So this is a business class interior with 15 inch high definition screens. The uh, SES Plus will also have new seats and also the economy. We will have uh, wireless internet through the whole cabin. And we are really happy about it. And first aircraft is uh, going in for modification in November. So that's, this is what's going to happen in the future. Hi, I'm Marius van Hanu. I'll be flying first officer on this uh, 925 into uh, DC Dallas today. Before every flight, we uh, do a pre-flight exterior che check, either by the mechanic or one of the pilots. I'll be performing this check now. Just generally go through uh, to see the general aircraft condition. No leaks, no dents, just to make sure that things are. Of course, there are many systems here which we can't take a look on this short time. But generally, we get a good view of the whole aircraft's condition. So just follow me, we'll go around. Antennas, static ports here for the first officer captain and all standby. But now they're loading some bags. Aircraft looks nice and clean. Right now we have some uh, exterior cooling. It's quite warm in Copenhagen today. And we check the leading edges of the uh, wings. See that they're clean. No dents. Check again for the engine, the intakes. See there's no FODs, foreign objects that have entered. Looks nice. We also check that all the uh, hatches are closed and all the uh, small locks are engaged. Looks nice and clean on this one. The general area. See that there are no leaks, no fuel leaks. That would be dripping fuel. We don't want that. Once again, the intakes of the engines, they're all clear. All hatches are closed. Looks nice. The winglets. Now over here, we check the uh, landing gear, especially here we check for leaks, any hydraulic, and also check for brake wear. As I mentioned, there is a mechanic doing this, however, we also like to take a look at it ourselves. This is what we have here, it's just water, condensation water, so it's no leak. Looks good on this, and also on the uh, A340 we have a center gear, which we don't find on the 330s, which is an additional weight uh, gear to carry the weight. Also we check that there are no pins in here, which uh, prohibit the uh, landing gear to be retracted. General condition good, looks good. And then on the port side of the aircraft, we'll just have to go through the whole thing once more.
Looks good. And then a final check on the port side here to check that the uh, static ports, just like we had on the other side, that they're clean and not obstructed. Standby system, first officers, and the captain system. Okay, we'll been all around. Let's go and do the rest of the pre-flight. Now we go through the takeoff data calculation, which we do on the on the iPad. Uh, takeoff, Kilo Bravo Mike, Airbus 340-300. Checked. Copenhagen, zero four right runway. Mm -hmm. Wind 110 degrees, uh, three knots. Yes. Temperature 17 degrees. Yeah. QNH 1019. 1019. 1019. We have it. Uh, runway dry, of course, very nice weather. Takeoff weight 223 tons. Yeah. Aft center of gravity, flex temper, uh, flex thrust, config one. Mm -hmm. Packs off, yeah. anti ass off. Yeah. And the result config one plus F. Yeah. Flex 55, I enter that one here. Flex 55. Yeah. Mm -hmm. V1 selected uh, between 129 and 140. I, s I enter the 135 as okay. a compromise. VR141, mm -hmm. 148. 148. Limited. Yeah. Uh, take off weight, runway, Yankee Zero. And in out acceleration, then I enter 820 and 820. All over, and that's uh, also a fuel economy thing to retract the flaps as soon as, soon as possible. Yes. And your failure, we can have a look at that one. And at 25 miles, CPH X2, enter holding, yeah. 039 right turn. Right turns. And Flap. also green dot was 249. Uh, yes, right, green dot, we have to check one. Yeah, excellent, yeah. So, that's it. Okay, let's just hope the weight stays within that then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you been, uh, you done with the flight plan? Then I will check. Flight plan is available okay, and check. it should be checked, yes. Okay, I'll do that then. And we also have all the charts on the iPad, which is uh, pretty new for us. It's, it's really, really good. Now I select um, the charts that we are using for this flight. And now I put uh, all the charts in the correct order so we can uh, start the taxi here at the gate and proceed uh, out on the runway. It's do all done here and this is really good because you can expand the picture if you want to have a better view of it. Then we will do the departure. Mixi 1 Alpha, I have that one here. It is set uh, level 7.0 and the frequency. And then um, the SID on the on the chart is like this, and if we need to return, we are using the runway zero four right here in Copenhagen. So all is prepared, making it very, very convenient. So now I prepare for the briefing with this page because here we start. Then we start the briefing. Uh, do then we run the Airbus standard briefing, aircraft status, applicable database, init A. Uh, alternate is Baltimore, Scanavi 925, cost index 7, uh, flight level initially 340. Flight plan, takeoff 0 for right, Mixi 1 Alpha, we have not yet gotten the clearance, we take that a little later. And um, it has a wind surge, and it has arrival for Washington runway 19 center. And step climbs is included in the flight plan already now, so we can see an estimated, reasonable uh, estimated uh, arrival time. Secondary flight plan for any failure. Now I get back to this. Uh, we start uh, taxi out from Charlie 28 on this gate, Quebec. 
and uh, we will cross runway 30 at Delta, turn left on Charlie, proceed Bravo down for runway 04 right. Yeah. Full runway. And um, we have planned mixing one alpha departure, which says 600 or three miles uh, kilo alpha zero, which have later 009, 1700, 369, and two mixy. Yes. Three Initial six, climb flight seven, level seven zero, seven. and departure frequency 12025. 1025, yes. All in we the can flight already pre select that. We can do that, yeah. Your side, one, zero, two, five. That's right. Uh, secondary flight plan for any failure. And goes to first same departure, Mixi 1 Alpha, then all the way to Mixi, and any failure holding pattern, CBH X2, enter holding. Yes, I saw Zero that. 039 right turn. That's checked. If we need a quick <laughs> return, we need to do three things pull heading. Activate secondary flight plan and then activate approach. Then we can land. And we keep uh, the gear and uh, flaps and uh, make a very quick landing in, in case of smoke and everything. And just do the landing. But if we have more time, we go to the holding pattern. Sounds good. Uh, Rad nav. Uh, I don't have anything on the Rad nav. No. In it, B. Uh, 600 taxi. Root reserve 600 kilos, final reserve 2.5 mm -hmm. is uh, the estimated central gravity and the zero fuel rate from the preliminary info okay. on this one. Did you load winds? Uh, no, I did not, no. Okay. I had to do that. Do you yes. want me to do that? Yeah, please. Great. Wind request. Uh, performance, we did go through that. Yes, that we did. Is all. And progress, GPS primary high. Yeah. Then we have it all in place. Stop and go. We stop for any, any anything up to 100 knots. If we get an ECAM warning or if we got a failure that we cannot fly with, we stop up to V1. Yeah. In case of go, it's uh, 400 feet ECAM actions, my radio. And then we decide if um, we have time or we need to return, make a quick return. That's and we do that. Understood. Evacuation duties, we have two guests in the cockpit. Uh, you are going out through the first doors, left to right side. I go through the whole plane and Marius, he goes... Go, go outside and gather the first passengers. Gather the passengers. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay. That's great. That was a briefing. Good afternoon, my dear ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain. I'm Björn Lundström. And I want to Tillsammans med min besättning vill jag önska alla hjärtlig välkomna ombord på den här SAS flygningen till Washington. Vi har en flygtid på 8 timmar 15 minuter. Vi har mycket fint väder och vi kommer säkert landa lite före vår tidtabell. Vi vill önska er välkomna ombord. Hoppas att ni ska trivas jättebra med den här SAS flygningen. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, you captain. Welcome aboard this SAS Starlines flight to Washington. We are soon ready to leave and we have beautiful flying conditions today. We will most likely land early. Should not be a problem. Very nice weather also in Washington. We wish you welcome aboard and really hope that you'll enjoy this SS flight. And here's the logbook. Yeah. Uh, was signed for last flight. It's a fine plane, no mail. It's the correct logbook for this plane. And, um, and right hand nose wheel slightly worn as uh, yeah. still within limits, no problem. And a briefing card. Yeah. Uh, the performance factors are correct, as I could see on the iPad. Mm -hmm. uh, OEBs, yeah. uh, 4, number 16, 26, 33, 16, and 34. 26, 33, and 34. 34. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And you are familiar with them too? Yes, I am familiar yeah. with those, all of them. Tem sensor 6, deactivated, metal locking bracket removed, water boiler deactivated. Okay. Standard, it has um, 25th of March. Okay. Nothing new since then. Okay. That's good. This maintenance release is okay. Yeah, And we that. need the cabin areas, some small problems. We don't go through them. We no. take a look if we need to. 
and uh, the maintenance check here in Copenhagen is performed yeah. today. It's That's good, good news. Okay. Yeah. So we can go. That's good. I checked for the, uh, the fuel that it's in balance, so it um, should be there. And here's a load sheet as well. Yeah, okay. I'll print another one for us. I have two here. Okay, great. It's uh, uh, accepted then, there you go. Yeah. Kilo Bravo Mike, the right plane, Scandinavian 925. Yeah. Uh, passengers, 260. 260 passengers. It's uh, almost full, that's good. Um, zero fuel weight, 165.6 is here. 165.6, that's checked. Take of fuel, 56.1. That's checked. Take of weight, 221.6. 21.7, and we did the TODC at 222 tons, 23 tons, so uh, that's 30, 23, yeah. Yes. no problem, yeah. Trip fuel, 50 tons, Check. Pass fits with the flight plan, landing 171.6. Yes. Max zero fuel, 33.3. 33.3, checked. Max takeoff, 31.4. Yes, here. Yeah. And uh, step takeoff, 13.5 up. Checked. That was it. Yeah, signed. Delivery, good uh, afternoon. Scanning Navy 925 Heavy Stand, Charlie 28, uh, Fox, Dot 86 clearance for Washington, Dolph. Scanning 925, hello, Washington, Mix C1, Charlie, departure score 0460. Okay, understand, we are cleared to uh, Dallas via the Mix C1, Charlie, departure squawking 0460, Scanning Navy 925 Heavy. All correct and uh, negative on uh, the climb gradient. That is affirmative, sir. We uh, will uh, not manage that today. Thank you. Yeah, mix one, Charlie. Change of runway. Two to right. Same wind, full length. Yeah. Nothing else has changed. Exactly. Let me check here for the wind. Yeah. So I have changed... Uh, uh, runway two to right. We have a take of 176 now, so one, uh, 140 will be the worst yeah, possible case for the wind. We shake that. 140 at uh, 6 knots. 140 at 6, that's right. Okay, and then we'll compute. And the flight plan, mix one surely, two to right. I just checked that, yes. You checked it, yes. and going to it's going to mix the same engine. Um, so we're going to mix different it. engine failure procedure. Yeah, the so we're going to modify so that one. Yeah. And the ground to cockpit. Yeah, go ahead. We just received one piece of luggage. Do you have time for we put that back up and come back yes. number five? Very good idea. Thank we'll you. Please do. We'll do. CPH X5. Yes. For the holding. That's right. 219. Right turn is ins inserted. Okay. In the failure proceed, and we go through the performance again. Yes. Uh, config 1 plus F, flex uh -huh. 55. Checked. Uh, V1135 still stands. Yeah, I got 129 here to, to right. 29 to 41, yeah. I got uh, 29 41, yes. Yeah, same, yep. yeah. VR141. Checked. V2148. Uh-huh. In and out acceleration, a little different. Eight. 850. Okay. 850. Everything 850 for, for the cleanup. That's good. Green dot 249, of course, about the same. Yes. That was it. Brief that sounds good. Briefing will be um, shorter taxi. Yeah. Foxtrot Alpha. I have it here. Into Alpha. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And changing the um, SID for runway two to right. Yes. Okay. Are you then ready for? Let's do the checklist. Yeah. Checklist. The normal checklist. The before start checklist. Cockpit preparation completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. So yeah, I have four pins. Okay. Checked. Signs. On auto. Eight years. Nav. Fuel quantity. 56.7. Checked. I checked the distribution. Takeoff data. Two to right, 222.3. Two to right. For that, two to right. 
and uh, 223 on the TODC. Barrel ref, 1019. 1019, 20 feet. RVSM, checked. 20 feet, checked right. Hello, Bjorn. Complete to windows and doors. Yeah, and you can continue. Yes. Windows and doors. Closed. Beacon. On. Park brake. Off. Taxi? Yeah. Or push rather? Push, yes. Heavy stand, Charlie 2 8, request push and start. Push to Melee 925, heavy stand by. Pushing on your left hand side with a heavy, I'll call you back, sir. Standing by, scanning Navy 925, heavy. And you, so, Sassira, Echo 3, Uniform 231, Echo 60, information, uh, Juliet, request time. start up and ATC. Enemy 925, okay. push approved, stand oh, by for pull. Okay. Okay, push approved, stand by for pull, scan in Navy 925. And ground cockpit breaks off, ready for the pushback. Breaks right. off, I will start push. Push. I'm saying goodbye for my crew on the ground. It's ground about teamwork. Everything. has also changed because we have a very very short taxi distance and taxi time uh, normally we start two engines and start to taxi for if we are making a zero four right departure because you have plenty of time to start the remaining engine two and three but here is a very very short uh, taxi time so we together decided that we will start all four engines making uh, making uh, the stress lower and we uh, make the takeoff without any packs because uh, it's, uh, it's be much better for the engines. Uh, engines are running more cool and uh, get more time on the plane before they go into maintenance. So a lot of economic and um, safety considerations on the flight. Soon we are, will enter the startup point and there's a construction work going on to the left, which gives us a, a little longer uh, push, but uh, it's not a problem. We, uh, we did made a on-time departure and the landing time in Washington looks just great. So, progressing very fine. And, uh, Cuphead? Yeah. Whenever you feel for you're welcome to start. Yeah, starting on four. All four. Oh, the cabin is ready. That's good. Even for takeoff. So okay. starting on four. Checked. One and two. I'll start uh, the first two engines. And uh, pretty small engines on this plane. They are they are about the same type as the seven three engines, but and they have a larger fan, uh, so they give more thrust. But uh, the APU can start two engines at the same time. So when when we have 10% N2 on the first engine, we can select fuel on uh, the start sequence on for the next engine. So we start two engines at a time. It's a very powerful APU. Please. Break set, you may disconnect. Thank you very much for good work and have a nice day. Thank you, and you guys have a safe one. Bye bye. Thank you, bye. So, we start uh, engine number three and yeah, four. One and two running nicely. Yep. Yep. So, we have selected the start sequence on for engine uh, three and four. We can see the uh, Air pressure is going into the starter. We have rotation on the engine. The EGT is nicely coming up on engine number three, and very soon it will rise on engine number four. If there are any exceedance of any limit, it will come on as an ACAS warning and, and uh, red digits on the readings. 
And the tractor is disconnecting. It looks like it will be perfect timing for the disconnect and then the start. That was avail on engine number three. And there we have the last engine number four started. So then I do the after takeoff procedure and automatically the of course the co pilot does the same. Okay. Yeah, when ready. After her checklist? Yes please. Anti ice. Off. E cam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Three point five up. Rudder trim. Zero. Clear signal of lights. Uh, negative. Pretty soon. Here we have it. Received and on. And cabin clear. Received. April Scandinavian 925 heavy taxi. Scandinavian 925 taxi. Scandinavian 925 taxi by uh, Foxpot Hold Short of Hardwick Tree Zero. Taxi Fox Trot to hold short on the tree seal, scanning even on a two five. Fox right side is clear. Or left they clear. Fox short tree zero. Straight ahead, second to the right, second forty-five right. degrees. Yeah. Only short one tree zero. And taxi light selected. Can one two four seven? Taxi by uh key. I wave and goodbye one more time. Taxi for the taxi right. Taxi key to Fox Trot hold short tree zero. Fox and hold short tree zero left. And right aileron. That's right, that's six left right. It's not a neutral. So left rudder. I will call you back shortly, traffic beside you. To the right rudder. Neutral. Good day, that's the one I got about crossing. Holding short. Look and the one in November joint taxi with Yankee, hold short of taxi with Quebec. 925, contact 118575. 118575, Scandinavian 925. Executive 2. Tower, good afternoon. Scandinavian 925, heavy holding short, 3 0. Scandinavian 925, heavy cross on the 3 0, hold short, taxi with Delta. Cross on the 3 0 to hold short, taxi with Delta, Scandinavian 925. First 3 0, uh, short Delta, and then a little yeah, thumb down. Yeah, he'll join in front of you. Okay. Thank you. So, yep. Scandinavian 124. Before takeoff to the line. Uh, Two. Flight controls. Checked. Scanner 1247, join Alpha, course on the 30. Flight instruments. Alpha, course Checked. 30, scanner 1247. Flap setting. Comfy oh, 1, no, look, 2 to right, 222.0. Yes. Comfy 1, sequence behind the ATR on your right hand side, course on the 30. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Line up two to right behind departing Air Canada, entering runway two to right. Firm. We are clear left. Right side is clear. And complete the checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. T A R A. And engine start selector. Normal. Packs. Off. Checklist is completed. They checked. And strobe is on. Very good.
Yeah, Runway really compass checked. Checked right side. Scanner 925, south is in calm, 2 to right. Clear take off, mind the turbulence from the Boeing. Clear take off, 2 to right, scanner 925. Clear for take off, mind turbulence. Take off. Take off. Timing start. Man flex SRS. Trust the set. Check. After takeoff, climb checklist completed. Perfect. Canada 883, contact Copenhagen, 123725. 3725, right now. I know. Scanline 25, turn right, heading 300. Right, heading 300, scanning 9 Heading 300. Sola and. Um, yeah. Scanline 540, descend to 5,000 feet, turn 81019. Yes, sir, the 540. 540, 5,000, confirm. Good point, entry point for the Oceanic area, yeah. and it's around heading 315, so this is not bad. 1247, it's a good heading. Climb flight at 120, all heading 270. 
And landing time in Washington already now. Scandinavian 925, thank you, Gunther. Direct Gunther from Pesto, Scandinavian 925, thank you. Yeah, there we have it. Direct. 540, heading 070, speed 250. Well, that's perfect. It's going to save us some time and some fuel. We land a couple of minutes early in Washington. That's great. No problem. Yep. Scanner 936, descent to uh, 5,000 feet, QNH is uh, 1019. All right, 10,000. Copenhagen, Scanner 925 Heavy, climbing out of 135. Hello, Scanner 925 Heavy, Copenhagen, identify. Climb flight level 240. Climb flight level 240, direct Scanner 925 Heavy. 240 Blue. Climb flight level 280. Yes. Now we adjust the uh, speed of the flight to arrive a couple of minutes early in Washington, so we have time to taxi to the gate and uh, make an uh, on-time arrival. The landing time in now in Washington says, says uh, 1857. Uh, I guess 1855 would be a good compromise, so we have time to, to for some small taxi. It's a short taxi in Washington, so it's no problem. And. Um, Flight is progressing really, really fine, so we're happy. Okay, we'll be uh, crossing the Atlantic today, and uh, they do require a special permit or a special clearance for that. We just departed Copenhagen out of here, and we're now headed for the southern part of uh, Norway, overhead Stavanger, and from there directly to Gunpa, which actually shows up here on our, uh, on our flight plan. We estimate to be at Gunpa at 11.55 Zulu uh, time, so that's in about uh, 40 minutes from now. Before entering, we had to get the clearance, and we'll do that via our ACAR system. And uh, we go into the uh, Oceanic Clearance uh, font, and we're uh, requesting our clearance with the Reykjavik Oceanic. So we enter the data here, Reykjavik, and our uh, entry point today is Gunpa. We estimate 11.53. I'll adjust that to 11.55 today. And uh, we also uh, note what flight uh, number we have, SAS 925 today, and the requested flight level, which is flight level 360. And also what speed we wish to fly across. Today we'll uh, fly north of the uh, Atlantic uh, organized track routes, which are uh, a bit south of us actually. These are down here. We'll be flying a northern route. Southern tip of Iceland, southern tip of uh, Greenland, in towards Canada and into uh, Washington. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, I can check here and see. We also have this on our iPad, but uh, usually they request this uh, 70 to 90 minutes before entering. That means I can send this off now. And uh, hopefully we'll get a message back quite soon stating either with the clearance or that they have received it and they're working on it and we'll get a confirmation on our routing here. When it comes back we check this uh, our clearance with what we have stored in our flight plan. See if everything matches up and also uh, if we get our requested altitude and the uh, speed. Okay, I can see there's already an uh, answer on its way, so hopefully we're lucky and we already have our clearance. In, no, it's too early. So uh, they're just saying stand by and um, we'll try, or actually we'll try again later and um, we'll have our clearance. So that's how it works. Also, we have to notify. Um, Iceland. We uh, log on to um, uh, to the ATC center in due time, and uh, we will communicate with uh, air traffic control through uh, a data link system. So uh, we'll get our messages if we uh, want any uh, deviation from our flight plan. We can send it down to them if ATC wants us wants to give us a message, either maybe a different altitude or speed control, they can relay our messages via this system. So um, this works without normal VHF radio frequency coverage. 
It's quite handy, it's very easy, and we can go back and we can find our old messages. So it's a system that uh, works very nice. Welcome aboard this flight to Washington on SK925. We are on board uh, Airbus 340 and we are up in the business class. I'm the steward on board, I'm preparing the meals and today we will be serving uh, as fourth court a uh, smoked cut with uh, salmon, uh, horseradish and the salads. The hot items today will be will be flank stick with rice and we will be having salmon stuffed uh, flounder with asparagus and uh, mashed potatoes and the last course today will be barbecue chicken with potatoes and garlic the desserts are cheese we'll be serving a couple of uh, ice creams we'll be serving some hot cake and there'll be fruit and of course Cognac, brandy, everything what you like to, to go to your coffee. And we hope you are enjoying the flight to Washington with us. My name is Jacob and I'm the steward on board. Uh, on board the long haul flights flying around the world, we have uh, air hostess and stewards on board. And the air hosts are mainly out in the cabin serving the drinks, where the steward on board have the responsibility for preparing food and making everything ready with the carts when they're serving the meal, serving the drinks and are also preparing and uh, doing the carts out, talking with the guests but mainly standing in the galley and uh, having the look over everything and seeing that everything goes as it's supposed to, to go with the service. I started actually about 16 years ago in a uh, other airline flying around Europe, but um, since uh, SAS, Scandinavian Star Alliance, they needed a chef, and I have an education from a kitchen and a waiter. This was a very nice job and uh, gave me some um, other opportunities to come around and see a little bit more of the world and compare the, the meal service, the wine briefings, with the education I already had from my earlier job. So it was the perfect way to see something at the same thing doing what you, you like to do as an old chef.
So now we'll be serving the, the hot meal and we'll be serving the chicken. We'll be serving um, beef flank steak today and we have a stuffed flounder with uh, mashed potatoes and we also have some Chilton meal today. And now we are ready for serving desserts and today's dessert are a lovely cherry pie. We have two kinds of cheese, we have fresh fruit, vanilla ice cream and a lot of cognacs, baileys, port wine, soutane, whiskey, whatever you like. When the passengers are coming on board, the business class are getting menu cards and um, well you have choices to choose between and there's everything specified if you want to have the fish, the chicken, if what kind of cheese they are preferring, if they are <laughs> there's a wine list as well, a little bit about the wines and today's wines are from Chile and we have served a Semillon Blanc from Chile, which is a very fresh grape, a little bit of lime, green apples. And um, the Chardonnay is coming today from Italy, and uh, that's a little bit more peaches, uh, apple blossom, a little bit more round in the taste. And we do also have, of course, a couple of red wines to choose between. Which ones normally is a very heavy, very strong red wine. And there's of course a lighter choice, and the lightest choice today is a Pinot Noir, which is very light in the taste, strawberry, raspberry. So you have wines for every kind of dish you prefer to have. We have now been flying for uh, three hours since the takeoff. We have passed Iceland. The flight is progressing really, really nice. Uh, on the displays here, we can see that we are approaching 30 west on uh, 36,000 feet. Uh, and uh, no problems with this plane. It's a very reliable machine and um, have the engine uh, data here and this is a cruise page which is al always displayed on the Airbus at cruise. The temperatures for the cabin and we have the data for the pressure pressurization of the cabin, some fuel gauges, engine readings and all that and we are checking that um, we have the fuel is on track. In fact, we are 800 kilos above our uh, prognosis, so we have plenty of fuel this time. We are checking the distribution of the fuel in the on the fuel page. The, this is the fuel used at this point, and uh, we check if we take this figure and uh, add it to the fuel on board figure, we get what we had before before the engine start and uh, then we don't we know that we don't have any fuel leak uh, the landing time is 1846 scheduled arrival time is 1900 utc and says that we are landing 14 minutes early uh, maybe it's a little too soon to reduce the speed e even further to fly even more economical 
but uh, we are considering it because uh, 10 minutes taxi into the gate time is uh, sufficient. We are now flying with the cost index 7. We can go uh, further further lower down to cost index 0. So we, we are planning on doing that a little later. Uh, we will um, make a step climb at uh, just after 40 west to 38,000 feet and we have some time uh, until we reach that point. We can see here it will be in approximately 40, 40 50 minutes from now. Now we got uh, a message on our CPDLC, that was very good coincidence. Contact Iceland Radio on 12785. We get messages here, it's transmitted via satellite. It's a very cl clever thing. So we do just, do, we, we Acknowledge that we have received this message and we contact Iceland on the on the radio. Now we are getting out of the radar coverage from from Reykjavik, so as we are transitioning to the Iceland radio frequency. My co-pilot Myers, he he can explain. I sure will. How we do it? Iceland radio, air transfer two one five. Two one five, Right, two one five, second check, Charlie Sierra Golf Junior. Right now we're uh, within VHF Charlie frequency uh, coverage. Uh, however, in a little while we'll get into an area where uh, VHF is not possible, and uh, then we will have to switch to HF communication, or we will use the data link. All depending, but uh, we always have the HF as a backup. And uh, after I've been in contact with Icelandic Radio now, they will assign us some frequencies and uh, later on we will do a cell call check on those frequencies that we are assigned to. So that means that if they have to get a hold of us, they can call us. And since it's a cell call system, we don't have to sit there and listen to all the other traffic on the, uh, on the same frequencies. So we're just called up when the regard is, or when the uh, call is for us. So um, it works smoothly. I'll see if I can get a hold of Iceland Radio now. Radio, good afternoon. Skinny Navy 9025, heavy flight level 360. Skinny Navy 9025, Iceland Radio, good afternoon. And confirm IOC PTLC and Seoners Control Area after Radio. Let us affirm to sir, we are CPDLC and uh, Gander next exit point today will be uh, Alto, Scandinavian uh, 9 or 25 heavy. Scandinavian 9 or 25, CPDLC, Gander next, HF back up with Iceland Radio, 4675, second rate the FIR boundary around 35 west, contact Gante Radio, primary 8891, secondary 4675. Cor correction, secondary with Gante is 8864. Cell call check coming up. Okay, Iceland Radio, Scandinavian 925, that's a good cell call check. And uh, the backup frequencies for Iceland Radio is 4675-8891. At the FIR boundary, which is approximately 35 degrees west, we have Gander on 8891, secondary 8864. Scandinavian 925, heavy. And uh, Scandinavian 925, uh, correction, my mistake, primary with Gunter 11279. Okay, that's no problem. We'll uh, set up that. Primary for Gander will be 11279, secondary 8864, Scandinavian 925, heavy. Iceland Radio. Okay, as he just, uh, as I predicted, he gave us some frequencies here. And uh, backup frequencies, we're now on VHF, which has a short range. He gave us some backup frequencies, which we will uh, tune into our HF radio. And also when we will pass uh, 35 degrees west, which is in uh, a little while, we will uh, have to contact Gander radio instead. And we also got frequencies for them. So um, 
This usually works very nicely, and as said, we do have a data link backup if he wants to contact us, and we can also send him messages via these different computers. So now I'm going to show you how we get uh, the briefing material for the flight. This is rather new for us, and it works brilliantly. It uh, was a, a huge project for SAS, and we are very happy about it. It's uh, performed on long haul, long haul routes and uh, short haul. Uh, when I'm sitting on the train on the way to the to my work to the airport, I get a mail brief with all the information for the flight, so I can sit relaxed and have a look at everything. I get the NOTAM here, and I check this one to see if any is anything of interest for us. Uh, and then we we'll have, which is of course very important, the flight plan. I can study the, the flying time. And this one I can assume it's 8.14 was planned. I can see, have a look at the weights, the remaining fuel when we land in Washington, 5.3. And the cost index, which is uh, this speed we are governing the speed we are flying with. We are now using the cost index uh, 7, which is according to the original plan. As I told you before, uh, we are thinking about reducing it, because we are a little ahead of time. So if we try now to reduce it to, to zero and see how many minutes it costs. 1846, we have the planned arrival time uh, touching down in Washington, and it, it cost us one minute longer flying time, gave, giving us 200 kilos more remaining. And we can afford uh, land to land at time 1847 because uh, the scheduled arrival time is 1900. So I think we do that. Uh, when you fly slower, it's more comfortable for the passengers, uh, less noise. And uh, if we encounter turbulence, it's a bit smoother. So this we work a lot with on SES. We have reduced uh, the consumption uh, since three years with around 6% on our uh, flights in SAS uh, on the average by different means. We use uh, engine out taxi, we don't, which means that we don't use all the engines for when we taxi to the airport, to the takeoff point. Uh, we fly with very economical cruising speed, we reduce the speed to not to land too early, consuming too much fuel, and when we have landed, we shut down the uh, engines after they have had the cool-down period. And on this plane, it's three minutes cool-down period. A lot of different works, it's good for the environment, and it's good for, for the fuel consumption. So it benefits in many different ways. Uh, when we fly, we take a look here, the fuel, uh, on board for different waypoints. Uh, here at 30 West we had 33.7 according to our um, flight plan. I, then I look up here for 30 West and the plan was to have 32.6 so we had 33.5 so we have more fuel than we plan, and that's just good, because then we have that, that for backup when we arrive in Washington. So it's, all, it's a lot of fuel management to fly as uh, safe and economical as possible, and it, it benefits us in many ways. Well, as uh, mentioned earlier, we do have our flight plan stored here, and um, there's another feature where we have a secondary flight plan, which we usually use just to copy the first flight plan, which is the active flight plan. But um, when flying long distances, we uh, have safety in mind. And if some kind of a problem should occur, so we would have to divert or go to another airport, we prepare the secondary flight plan for our alternate and root airport. In this case, in this case we have um, uh, planned it for uh, a runway facing southwards in Iceland, which is actually way behind us now. Uh, on the other side, 
in Canada, we have uh, Goose Bay, which would be our next alternate. So at this time, we uh, have Iceland as backup, and ahead of us is Goose. Now, predetermining here on one of the sites uh, pages on um, on our computer, we can figure out an equal time point by inserting the different airports. And uh, right here is our aircraft coming up, and uh, as you can see, just ahead of us here is the equal time point ETP, and uh, it calculates the same time either proceeding straight ahead or going back to Iceland. It also takes into account the uh, actual wind, not only the distance, so it doesn't mean it's halfway between the airports, it takes account for the, uh, the wind, so if we have a lot of tailwind, the uh, distance might be greater ahead of us than going back to Iceland. So uh, when we approach the equal time point here, we will uh, reprogram the secondary flight plan, which we have here, so uh, we can uh, divert to an airport ahead of us instead, which would then be closer. And in this case, it would be Goose Bay. And then when we are approaching Goose Bay, we will find another equal time point, maybe ahead or to the uh, bit further south or north, maybe, depending, so we have more than one airport. That way we always figure out which airport is the closest in case we had to um, to divert from our original flight plan. And um, then when approaching our destination, we can also use this secondary flight plan as um, a backup. Maybe we are flying into a busy airport, we might, we're not sure which air, uh, runway we'll have. And uh, in that case we might program one different approach into the uh, secondary flight plan, so it's easy for us to switch in case they do change runways for us. Especially the busy airports like uh, New York, Chicago, and uh, sometimes into Washington DC or Seattle, they or uh, Washington, San Francisco, they change around on the runways quite often, so we must be prepared to, um, to uh, maybe use another runway than what we originally planned. So. Um, and we have time to do uh, sit here and uh, and do all this programming on the way. Not much going on now up here at 36,000 feet. We do have the uh, iPad system also here. I have programmed in our route, which uh, we can see it departed out of Copenhagen here, up across the southern tip there of Iceland, and then uh, right now we're coming in towards uh, Greenland. And uh, here also we can add on what uh, airways or uh, the different airports and we can uh, find our alternates and also program in our uh, equal time points on this. Also we have uh, all the uh, elevations in the different areas so we, we, if we do have to divert we can make sure that uh, we uh, keep our minimum safe altitudes wherever we are. So this iPad is a great tool for us. Um, takes a bit getting used to to start off with, but uh, as soon as you learn how to use it, it's a fantastic tool, easy, and it cuts all the uh, paperwork, and of course it uh, saves time, money, and also the environment. So um, we're pleased with that, absolutely. Yeah, we just passed um, 35 West and uh, we'll see if we can get a hold of Gander on our HF radio on the uh, assigned frequency we, oh, we got. Mike so I'll Julia call him and uh, we'll see CBDLC, if they... Uh, and Gander, we expect your center frequency by the CBDLC link and uh, Charlie, Mike, Julia, Kilo coming up for you. Good call, thanks, United 127. Gander. Scanner radio, Ganna radio, scanning Navy 925 heavy. Navy 925, Ganna. Uh, good morning, sir. We are flight level 360 with DLC, and uh, we are on 11279 this time. So call Golf Mike Charlie Romeo, scanning Navy 925. That's going to be your exit point. Exit point today will be Alpha Lima Tango Oscar Delta Alto. It's going to be 9 or 25. 
Roger, sir. Get your, uh, you'll get your center frequencies via your CPDLC, and there's your cell call. Yonders, can you name it 926? That is a good cell call check, and I understand we'll get our assigned VHF frequencies via uh, CPDLC. Thank you, Scandinavian 9925 heavy. Gander. Yeah, the radio, yeah, the radio, MRS 215, okay. got in touch with them. They yep. uh, said that they would give us uh, frequency on this CPDLC when we uh, are switching to VHF frequencies. Right now we're on contact with the HF, just like we were with um, Iceland radio. So now we're talking to Gander radio. Sounds good? Yep, very nice. Another roughly 100 miles, then we'll uh, come in over the uh, Greenland coastline. The terrain isn't that high uh, this f far south, but uh, further north, the terrain is really high in Greenland. Already now we have uh, planned our arrival in Washington. Of course, we have some options for the different uh, uh, for different runways, but we have already programmed uh, that to land on 19th Center, which is what we usually do with the southerly wind. We can take a look at that via the plan mode here, and here on the screen we can see that we are arriving here via Lancaster. We have planned a Hyper 4 arrival. We don't know if it's going to be that one, but we think it will be. And then uh, further on in, in for the landing. We have a charge for the landing on uh, our I iPads. It's a really efficient tool where you can zoom or you can take a closer look at the points. So you, you can study it well in advance. It's really good. If we go to the next page. In fact, I have arranged the plates so it, it comes in a proper sequence. We have the four per Hyper 4 RNAV arrival, ILS, uh, for runway 19 center. As a backup, I have the 19 left. And we can, uh, if we not uh, get the 19 left, we can then continue to have the ground charts. It's a really smooth tool for us. So, just press next, and here it comes, 19 center. And then uh, 19 left for backup, and then, of course, we have the ground chart. We already now know that our usual gate is in this area. And then we can take a closer look at this, uh, this area here. Is some, you know, Marius, where the usual gate is around Bravo or something, Bravo 44 or something. Let me see, it's, uh, yes, somewhere around there. Yes, somewhere around between uh, Bravo 40 and Bravo 46, I think. On yeah, Coast around, B. in this right. area, yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. So we can already now plan for uh, an exit point for the runway, which uh, it will suit us fine with the Yankee 7 exit, and then we just takes a few minutes into the gates. That we take into account when we, when we select the, the landing time here uh, regarding the cost index and the speed of this flight. It's, it's all about economy. So we think we have everything definitely under control and we have uh, planes for this and we have backup planes also. Control 082, I send radio. Control 082, go ahead. 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 Control 082, go ahead.
Contour 082, Iceland Radio Reykjavik, OEC is requesting your uh, 401 progress. Contour 02, position 66 north, 040 west, at time 1426, flight level 330, estimate 66 north, 050 west, at time 1458, next. Edman, go ahead. Contour 082, Iceland Radio 66 North 040 West 1426, flight level 330, 66 North 50 West 1458, and Edman is next. Scandinavian 925, I actually do need to make an amendment to your routing. Uh, you are cleared direct to uh, Barnes Bravo Alpha Foxtrot and then join the Hyper 4 arrival. Okay, I understand from present direct Bravo Alpha Foxtrot to join the Hyper 4 arrival into Dallas. Scandinavian 925 heavy. Scandinavian 925, read back is correct, thank you. We are approaching uh, Washington and uh, we pretty much know how we are going do going to do this uh, arrival. So now it's when it's calm and we have plenty of time. So why not make the briefing for the landing already now? It's a good idea. Uh, we have received clearance direct to Bravo Alpha Foxtrot, which is uh, Barnes VR, and we start out from that. We have been cleared a Hyper 4 arrival. And this uh, flight plan goes via Bravo Alpha Foxtrot and the, all the points inbound on the Hyper 4 arrival. Uh, the descent point comes at the proper place. We'll pass uh, Lancaster VR, as you see here. And uh, the first constraint is uh, at the Muller point, which is 10,000 feet. And we have a speed restriction, 250 below 10,000, which is standard in the USA. And um, from Muller, we go to RK, the RK point. We expect to have uh, radar vectors already there, but the point is here in the flight path anyway. And we have not programmed the whole, whole uh, arrival because uh, this will not be applicable. If we switch to next page here, uh, original plan is for runway 19 center. And the first point here in the flight path is RK. You need 2,700 feet. And uh, FEMCO. Then overhead runway 19 center threshold for go round. To erase. Already 187 to hold right on 3000 feet. And yeah, that looks good. Yeah. And that's what we have on the plate here, too. Yeah. So double check. Uh, when we have landed, we plan to use an exit, Yankee 7, and we will enter the ramp area, and we will park, be parked at Bravo 38. We have already received that on ACAR's message from 
as a good service from our station. So that's where we will park. It's pretty uh, quick here. It's a short taxi and um, we have to contact the ramp. First ground control and then we go to the ramp control before we enter. It's 129.55. Yeah. Pretty easy. That looks good. Yeah. On the red map page, don't have anything. Uh, progress page. Uh, GPS primer high, predictive. GPS, yes. Performance. We have reduced our speed for economy, economic flying to cost index zero. Managed cruise speed 0.79. During descent, we will fly with 0.79 Mach to 270 knots until we get uh, another speed constraint. speed constraint or something. Yep. For the landing performance, uh, we have the applicable weather. May we might have to update it a little later. I can do that. Variable four is the wind, almost zero. Uh, VAP is 138. Config tree landing. MDA 480 according to the the plate. Yeah. Boston, good afternoon. Scandinavian 9025, heavy flight level 380. Scandinavian 925, Boston, center rudder. We have plenty of performance. We have a margin of 1,000 meters for the landing. It's a long runway, 3,500 meters. Mm -hmm. So, should not be a problem at all. Nope. There's plenty of runway. Next. For the go around, we have uh, engine out acceleration 3000. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. For the fuel, uh, final reserve 2.5. We have managed managed to save uh, some fuel, so in fact we have uh, uh, extra fuel for 34 minutes yeah. until we hit the final reserve fuel. So pretty much. Secondary flight plan, uh, we have uh, runway 19 left. Yes. As a backup. And we, if we shift for the 19 left, I pull the heading, you activate the, second, uh, the secondary approach. You, then yeah. we are ready to land 19 left. Also a very long runway, no, no problem. performance problem. That looks good. Yeah. And in practice, I will um, fly automatic approach in the beginning, then disconnect the auto autopilot. At 40 feet, I will retard the uh, throttles. Touch down with the aft uh, main wheels, the forward main wheels, pull reverse, either reverse, and uh, then uh, lower the nose gear. Mm -hmm. That's all copied. Yeah, any questions? No, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. And the weather was nice, wind is calm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Aircraft fully functional. Man, uh, that should be. Uh, a nice plan, I think. Pretty easy. You know? And we're looking for some good weather so we can have nice pictures. New York Center, good afternoon. Scandinavian 9 or 25 Heavy, flight level 360. Scandinavian 925 Heavy, New York Center, good afternoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Scandinavian 925, cross Tucker, flight level 280. Cross Tucker, flight level 280, Scandinavian 925. Leaving flight level 360 now. American 49 calling? Yes, ma'am, it is. Uh, if we could get flight level 400 from you, can we pick our speed back up? Stand by. New York, United 127, we did a 320. Scandinavian 925, contact New York Center and 132187. 132-187, Scandinavian 925, heavy. I'm sorry, that's the most frequency. I meant to say 132.1, 321. Okay, we'll make it 321, Scandinavian 925, thank you. Good day. Good afternoon, it's getting 925 heavy, descending for uh, flight level 280. 
Scandinavian 925 Heavy, New York Center, Roger. Can I get up there? Cactus 660 climbing out of 11800, 17000. Cactus 660, New York Center, Roger. Climb maintain level 240. Climb maintain 240, Cactus 660. 633 Hotel Charlie, climb maintain 16000. 16000, Hotel Charlie. Scandinavian 925, the center maintain level 200. Center maintain level 200, Scandinavian 925, heavy. 200, 633 Hotel Charlie, climb maintain level 230. Two three zero. Cactus six sixty contact New York Center one three three point four seven. Get it. Three three four seven. Cactus six sixty. Get it. United fifty three. The center maintains level two five zero. And the two five zero. United fifty three. Scandinavian nine two five heavy contact New York Center on one three three point one seven. One three three one seven. Scandinavian nine or two five heavy. Three three one seven. New York Center, good afternoon. Scandinavian 925 Heavy, descending for 200. Scandinavian 925 Heavy, New York Center, Roger. 15,000 on 3030, Scandinavian 925 Heavy. 15,000 blue, 3030. Okay, direct bond for contact, 580, you're welcome. Approach, good afternoon, scanning name 925 heavy. We are 15,000 maintaining inbound hyper. Scanning 925 heavy, but some approach information golf turn at Dulles. Dulles out to minus 3032, expect 19 left. Expect 19 left, 3032, and we have golf. Scanning name 925 heavy. Yeah, 19 left. 19 okay. left. Yes. To your so heading, activate secondary. Secondary, direct. Hyper. Hyper. Yes. Activate secondary. Perfect, direct hyper. And uh, activated no down. And reducing 250. Checked. Scandinavian 925 Heavy, descend to maintain 6,000. Descend to maintain 6,000, Scandinavian 925 Heavy. 6,000, blue. Okay, okay. 127, which you're leveling, 15, 15,000. Activated approach and approach checklist. 220 after Muller to intercept the localizer, 1 and left, Scandinavian 925 Heavy. 220, intercept the localizer. We can play it at Ross, 760. ILS or localizer 19. Scandinavian 925 heavy, descend now, maintain 4000. Send maintain 4000, Scandinavian 925 heavy. 4000 blue. Uh, Three thing, we're at 15,000. Check. 53 heavy, but some approach, welcome, on. expect 1 under 11. And uh, uh, thank Baron you, F. 3032. 3032. Minimum 510. 510. Enter start selector. Normal. Check. Checklist completed. There you go. 2518. 1258 down to 4000. Skin name 925 heavy. 4000 blue. Skin air 4 down to pop and maintain. That's 3500. Yes. Potomac, good afternoon. Skin name 925 heavy. Skin name 925 heavy. Potomac, runway 19 or left. 19 left. And they're just catching the localizer. I would like to reduce the speed. That's okay. 925, can we reduce speed now? Doing 250. Okay, 925, A speed now, your discretion. Speed in our discretion, scanning 925. Yeah, all speed, that's how we agree. American speed, uh, 1355, turn rate heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, report dollars in flight. Well, heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, report dollars in flight. Heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, report dollars in flight. Heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, report dollars in flight. Heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, report dollars in flight. Heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, report dollars in flight. Heading 090, descent to maintain 2000, we're crossing DD, cleared ILS 19 left, traffic no factors, getting name 925 heavy. Okay. Alt, glass, go blue, cat, pre, dual, autopilot 1 and 2. All checked. Speed, L star. Checked. Traffic no factor. No. He's behind us, so uh, yeah, actually he's somewhere out there. No for flight for American, not 1355. Yeah. American 1355, clear visual approach, runway 19 center, connect LSR on 134.42. 
Scanning the United States, have you maintained 180 knots or greater for five mile final? Contact all this tire, 120.1. 120.1 and uh, 188, minimum five miles to greater. Scanning the United States, 180 to five. Firm. Operating. Flaps one. Speed check, flap one. Dallas Tower, good afternoon. Scanning name 925 Heavy, we are just catching the uh, glide slope on ILS 1 and left. Scanning Navy 925 Heavy, Dallas Tower, wind 1906, runway 190 left, clear to land. Clear to land 1 and left, scanning Navy 925 Heavy. Clear to land 1 and left, glide slope star. Checked, 3000 to go around. Go around set. Three zero three two. Three zero three two. Flap two. Speed check. Flap two. Gear down. <coughs> Autopilot off. Check. Cat one. Check. Flap 3, complete landing checklist. Speed checked. Flap 3. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Order trust. Speed. EKMMO. Landing no blue. Landing checklist is complete. Thank you. You clear to land all set. Lights. Yes, please. Thank you. You are stabilized. Check. Stabilized. Check. F dot high. Check. Correcting. Check. Land. Check. Hundred above. On profile. Check. Minimum. Spoilers. Reverse green. D cell. Checked. Oh, they have a second right. Checked. Carry under 127 uh, is with you on the visual Check. one left. United 127, Dallas Tower, wind calm, caution like turbulence, following a heavy Airbus 330 just landed, runway 1 on the left, clear to land, and also use caution, there's a report of a helicopter drone, uh, just a mile north of the field, treetop level. Okay, thanks, um, we'll be watching, and clear to land, 1 on the left, United 127. Scanning Navy 925, heavy, turn right at Kilo 7, and uh, turn right onto Juliet, and say gate. Kilo 7, Juliet, and uh, Bravo 38 it is today. Yeah. Okay, Navy 925, heavy, roger, taxi, yeah. Juliet, and hold short of Charlie. Juliet, to hold short Charlie, scanning Navy 925, heavy. Juliet, short Charlie. And Juliet is uh, second right.
So that was uh, uh, this flight. It was a beautiful flight, no problems at all. We arrived ahead of time. Now it's um, six minutes. We are six minutes early. We have parked and uh, yeah, really happy about this flight. Beautiful. Could have had better weather, so we would have had a nice vis visibility over Iceland and Greenland, but we didn't have it. So, so a few mountains, but uh, unfortunately. Nice view over New York. Okay, thank you.